Are we starting? I sat down with three priests and asked them each one simple question. What does it mean that God loves us? What does it mean that God loves us? Always the, the question is love. What does that mean? You almost have to define that. We can go quite simply to scripture, which tells us that God is love. St. Thomas Aquinas' love is willing the good of the other. And so to say that God loves us means that God wills what is good for us. God wants and wills what is best for us. God wants us to live in harmony with him and with each other and come to the end for which he's made us. It's a very deep love that no human being really ever responds to fully. Our Lord did, obviously, and our Blessed Lady and great saints do it to a greater degree than most of us. So what does it mean that God loves us? Uh, he shares his inner Trinitarian life with us, is what that means theologically. By entering into that Trinitarian life and fully in through his body, the church, that's how we can love Christ fully by entering his body, by becoming one of him, becoming him here on earth. Well, being made in God's image, God has created us for the capacity uh, to love. Uh, we talk about uh, a love of country, a love of family, but our Lord, you know, shows us what love truly looks like and that there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for a friend, uh, for another. Original sin brought the disfigurement of our human nature, but in his love, God initiated his plan for our salvation. Man says no, but God says, I want to love you. Please love me back. By setting the prophets, making the covenants, all of these things. But even that wasn't quite enough. So in the fullness of time, right, he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Right, the word made flesh, who could show us exactly what love looks like. I mean, the, the thing is, usually you can, you can discover it, right, uh, in your family, right? Your family who should be unconditionally loving you, your parents, right, as you're brought into the world by being open to your life and nurturing it and growing it. This is also why, this is why the devil wants to destroy that family unit so that it becomes distorted and people don't know who they are or whose they are. They won't understand who God is and what love is. There's um, eros, which is base sexual love, and then there's uh, philios, friendship love, and there's agape, okay, which is self-sacrificial love. So even there, there's three. It's a kind of a Trinitarian formula. So eros would be basically mirror um, the love that you see in creation, human love. And then there's philia, which is a little higher than that, kind of a friendship love in, a, in the Greek understanding. But agape, that's self-sacrificial love. That's very rare, but that's a love God has for us. And sometimes human beings can are called to that. They'll sacrifice, you know, some guy will throw himself on a grenade to save his buddies in the foxhole or something like that. That's the highest form of love. So how does God love us? I'd say something like that.